I never really officially attempted suicide, but every time I put a needle in my vein and injected dope into it, I was essentially saying, I'm done living. I had been arrested 18 times, overdosed four times, been raided by the police twice, and wound up in a homeless shelter. And I had lost all hope, all sense uh, of belonging, and all desire to live. But there was something inside of me that was afraid, was soaked in fear, and it was the fear of change. I didn't want to change. As, as awful as it was, as, as real the hell that I was living in was, I still wanted to hold on to that. The struggle I had in early recovery was battling or dealing with uncertainty. Because for me, I wanted to figure out the rest of my life. I wanted to know what it would look like. I wanted to know who I would marry, what career I would have, where I would be living. And none of that was becoming apparent to me. I was working in early recovery at a factory, 45 to 50 hours a week, standing in one spot, checking these hoses for malfunctions or tears. And I thought, is this going to be the rest of my life? For me, I wanted to give back. I wanted to help others. But I did not know what that looked like. I had no clue. I recognized my life was starting to go in the right direction. When what I was looking for, first of all, in terms of a mate or a girlfriend or a wife, changed. It changed from something that was very um, superficial, non-committal, to something that was... Uh, highly dependable, lots of integrity and stability. Uh, and that was one of the first monumental moments when uh, Amanda agreed to marry me. In nearly two decades, or almost over two decades, that a right decision had been made and that things were working out. So pursuing my education is not something I would have done. I don't, I don't come from an academic family, and so I wanted to expand or to continue my education so that I would be able to do what I felt like I was called to do. There was just this inner drive, this inner motivation that propelled me to apply when it looked like all the odds were stacked against me. If, if Jason today could, could see the Jason before he entered treatment, I would, I would tell him this, it's going to be okay. It's maybe not an eloquent speech, but I would understand the message. It's going to be okay.